Now, many cultures have their own calendar system that predate the Gregorian one, which most of us use today. For example, the African Igbo dating system used by the Igbo people of Nigeria has 13 months in a year, seven weeks in a month, and four days in a row. Four days in a row? Four days in a week. And now, an African calendar book series is being released. It spotlights the continent's prowess in leadership, science, culture, art, religion, great empires and civilizations. Well, I'm joined now by Obi Onioha, a Nigerian musician and anthropologist, to discuss this series. Thanks for coming in, um, Obi. How oh, important thank you. do you think um, it is that more people learn and hear about and get to know and understand the Igbo calendar? Well, it is important insofar as um, is a unifying um, tool you know, for a lot of evil people and a lot of Africans generally, you know, because um, Africans, we all, in uh, the uh, people of African ancestry, are all scattered all over the world with different cultures, different languages, and this is one thing that unites us all, you know, with this um, ancient uh, calendar, you know, that details what we were, where we were, how we ordered our societies, and more importantly, it becomes an educational tool to teach our children, to teach the next generation who are totally ignorant of what we were, how Africans contributed to civilizations. Because if you ask any child, any African child or people of African ancestry, they have no idea, you know, all the things that we had uh, contributed. So this calendar, does um, uh, is all the th different themes of it helps you know as an educational tool in schools and all that for children to know what contributions there were. You say that children are ignorant um, of this calendar uh, yeah. and uh, why is that because you get certain cultures where um, the calendar, a different calendar, the Chinese calendar yeah. is very well known in that yeah. culture. Why yeah. in Africa and why in Nigeria is this not as well known do you think? Well because it had been relegated to oral traditions you know so it was something uh, people passed on from generation to generation orally without really explaining what they meant. You know, what the, the, the relevance, uh, the relevance, uh, um, how significant these things were. Because it was from the calendar that we actually, it was a foundation for traditional medic, uh, medical practices. It was a tool for social, <coughs> excuse me, a tool for social discipline and control. You know, it was um, a, a, a thing, it was a tool uh, for educating the young, even in the old days, you know, because through this calendar, people went into uh, different schools, you know, not in the way that the West understands schools, but different schools to teach uh, children to become men, your boys to become men, and women to become, your girls to become women. So it was through this calendar that all these things happened. And it, the thing, beauty about the calendar, it, was, it wasn't just about, you know, like the Gregorian thing where it was January, February, or it was about actually each month actually told you how to behave. You know, it told you how to le order your life, how to lead your life. So, for instance, you have Fijoko, you know, uh, which is a time of um, harvest and all that. So you know it's time for harvesting and all that. You have Ikenga, which is the second month, which teaches you, you know, how to appreciate the talent that God gave you. You know, what have you done with that talent? So that's the time you ask yourself those questions, you know. And you have a season where is you forget you're supposed to say what, um, uh, uh, which means all the anger, everything. I sang about it in my upcoming release of my album, Jihoho. You know, I sang about that, you know, about during that period of, of, of the month, you forgive everybody. You know, so you actually lead your life in a, a, a spiritually benefiting way for, for your soul. The, the Igbo um, calendar has obviously predated the Gregorian calendar, of we's, as, as we've said, um, and so the idea of it is nothing new. But yeah. what's happened now is that someone has um, put this down on paper, they've written it down. Is that what was missing in terms of being yes. able to spread this yes. message? Yes, yes. And, and that uh, 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 UD um, Onyoha, who is um, 
an educator, uh, Ono Onyoha, who is a specialist in African culture, uh, Dr. Uwa Usimiri, who's a um, uh, clinical psychologist, and, 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 and I, you know, who's an anthropologist. So, you know, we all put in a little bit in there, you know, did the research and came up with the fact that there's nowhere that is written, this is what we do. You know, so the way it is now, it's now, now an educational tool at, um, at uh, uh, African Calendar uh, Book Series .org. You know, if you click in there, and it comes with manuals as well. So it's, you, you're not just looking at it. You know, it's exp you have manuals to explain it. You know, and we have um, there's um, the astrological charts and all that too. So now you've written it and it's down on paper and it's sort of tangible and people can exactly. sort of look in it and feel it and, and think about it. Are you hoping that um, is the aim that it'll be on the curriculum in schools in Africa soon? Oh yes, there's all, not just in Africa. I mean the world, you know, because I mean if a Gregorian calendar can go worldwide, why not African this thing? And that to me is actually a very meaningful. You know, I, I'm sorry, I don't know what January really does, you know, but I know that the New Year Festival, August, when it's meaningful as a new year, you know, because that's when you start all over again. That's when you harvest what you have created, you know. So now is move on to, because the, 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 um, the uh, New Year Festival is actually supposed to be um, uh, a new year. And that plenty is supposed to be what you expect for the year, you know. So it's a time of plenty, it's a time of new beginnings. What role do you think colonialization played in stopping the spread of this message, um, the British and the French coming into Africa and, and spreading their culture as opposed to letting African cultural values flourish? Oh, well, uh, do you have all day? <laughs> Just under one minute, I've been told. <laughs> no, I mean, um, I mean, it was it was doing a good job of decol uh, or colonizing the mind. So it wasn't just colonizing the space; it was colonizing the mind. You know, when you were as a child, you were told if you spoke Igbo, you know, you were looked down on. But if I spoke English, I was made prefect of the class. Mm. You know, so all everything that you believed in, that you thought that was good was all of a sudden said to not mean anything. Yeah, well, you know, so. Obi, I'm going to have to stop you there. We could, as you say, talk for hours and hours um, on this topic, but it's all very interesting and congratulations for doing it. It must have been a painstaking task, but it is now out there in a series written down, so yeah. hopefully that message will spread. But Obi, thank you very much indeed for coming in today. Thanks. Thank you.